Hi, in this video, I'm going to be comparing Writer to other AIs such as Conversion AI, Jarvis, and WriteSonic. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. Alright, so the very first comparison will be against Writer versus uh, Conversion AI and Jarvis. Now, I did have to do a review on Conversion AI, and I did test it out, but let me just give you the overhead um, an overview of the difference between the two right? and use fact base right? so that it's basically a fair comparison. Uh, Rider uses GPT-3 plus proprietary uh, AI in order to create their their uh, their text versus conversion.ai and Jarvis only use GPT-3 okay so this is kind of a, a maybe an upgraded version to um, the normal AI when it comes to conversion AI and I can I can tell the, the the difference. It's not night and day, but they're you know when I compare the two uh, content, Rider is actually better. It's probably by far the best, and I think it's due to this uh, proprietary um, I guess code that they added into their AI. Right? So that's the one thing is is the quality. If, if the quality you know is is bad and poor, then there's no use <laughs> going on the, the list. Okay. So first of all, I want to say that right. In my opinion, Rider AI um, is a lot better when it comes to the quality uh, than conversion.ai. Next is the uh, it has a a simple editor, but about the editor, when it comes down to Rider, you actually have the ability to, to save your old work. Like your old work is is saved. When I use conversion AI, I wasn't able to find where my old work was. Maybe they might have upgraded it, but uh, you know, well, that's one thing that kind of bothered me because if you want to go back to your old, old work, it's quite easy with Writer. Uh, let's see. The next major issue is language support. Now, this supports 20 different languages. Writer supports 20 languages. Conversion AI and Jarvis only 11. There will be a browser extension coming soon. It has a plagiarism checker. Which is you know amazing. It's another software I don't have to buy, right? I, I don't know why it's not included in Conversion AI Jarvis, but uh, it, it's kind of inconvenient because when you you know with anything, whether it's PLR or uh, you know Article sp uh, Spinner or any anything, uh, even an AI writer, you, you still want to check for plagi plagiarism to make sure that it's unique. Otherwise, it's also useless as well. So this inbuilt plagiarism checker is, is quite useful, right? Um, it's not as strong as uh, you know CopyScape, but it does the job in a pinch. Okay, it does it does a, a decent enough job. Uh, customer support for Rider is very very quick. Um, Conversion AI is not bad, not bad, but Rider is is really it's it's uh, <laughs> almost instant uh, instant feedback, which is uh, very shocking. Normally, I'm getting used to uh, hating my experience with any kind of customer service in general because it's just slow and you get the run around and you get the auto reply messages with this you got a real human being uh, talking to you right away and telling you exactly what's going to happen and how to fix your, your issue uh, conversion AI is more more standard um, you know you get you get a little run around um, but it's not too bad uh, all in all it's it's a pretty close close match but I think Ryder wins out a slightly and comes out slightly ahead uh, now here's the thing you get this is the key factor, another key factor which I like about Rider. It allows you to generate unlimited characters per month with its premium plan. Unlimited. Now you can do that with conversion AI and Jarvis, but it costs you a lot more, which I get to later. Okay. Um, you can use Rider for on your mobile, so you know you can you can definitely you know, work on the go, which is another thing because I like to you know I don't like to be tied to a PC all the time, and that's why I try to out uh, I don't say outsource, but try to make sure that most of my tools that I use to create my content, whether it's writing or video editing, I, I make sure that it's it's web based, so I'm not tied to you know an iOS ecosystem or a Windows ecosystem or anything like that, or even equipment. I can just go on a mobile device and and, and do what I need to do in a pinch. Um, trust pilot rating is about the same. Yeah, you know, it, it's it's about the same. Uh, what else? G two rating is about the same. Ah, the free trial. Even the free trial for Rider is better. You get five thousand characters um, each month, 
and you don't have to enter your credit card. You know, like, like, but nowadays with the identity theft and everything like that, I, I don't want to input my credit card just for a free trial, which is the case when it comes down to conversion AI. You got you, you a seven-day trial and you need to enter your credit card detail. That, that's, that's a bit much. Uh, I, I mean, I, I kind of understand why they're doing that, but you know, like information is, uh, especially personal information such as credit card uh, information and detail, it's kind of sensitive. And all that just for a seven-day trial uh, is not worth it to me. It's kind of like a kind of – it's too much resistance just for a free trial right, with con uh, conversion.ai. And the final thing is the, the monthly price. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they're both unlimited. But to get that unlimited option is 30 bucks with Rider. Okay? It's 29 This is called it $30. Okay? $29 a month. I'm going to call it 30 unlimited characters unlimited quality content you want to get the same deal with conversion ai uh you're gonna to have to pay 110 dollars okay i'm rounding up here 110 dollars that, that's a lot of money i mean considering you know we already a lot of us already got like uh, bills such as cable and internet utilities car insurance and then they want to tack on this this monthly 109 dollars a month that that's a i think this is a bit tone death right here Okay, this right here is a bit tone deaf because, you know, people are are uh, still struggling from, you know, uh, the economy and, and, you know, they're trying to hold on to their hard earned money and, and make it stretch further. And this $109 a month, I just don't think it's worth it. Okay, if this at $30 a month, Rider hits a sweet spot, right? $30 a month, that content, the quality of the content is great and you get unlimited characters, no, no, no credit based system like you would uh, this at $30, you know? So if you're gonna pay 30 bucks, your 30 bucks goes way, way further with Rider, okay? And um, then if you wanna go ahead and save even more money, you can buy a yearly a yearly plan. What I suggest you do is you go up for the free version, you test it yourself, you don't listen to whatever I say or whatever someone else says, you go ahead and try it yourself and find your own truth, see if it works for you. All right, so you enter in the product, you enter in your title, see what comes out the other side. If it great, goes good for your, your uh, if it goes well for your content or your topic, then you know what? No, maybe upgrade because I know I, I hate monthly tools, uh, but you know I, you got to do a, a cost benefit you know analysis. For thirty bucks, you don't have to hire a ghostwriter. You know you get instant content on tap. You can do many, many, many things with this, and I have many, you know, many videos and tutorial videos showing you like how how to use Writer in different circumstances where I, I don't just sit back. I show you step by step, and, and it works. Like like the traffic I get from using Writer, uh, it's it's amazing. It's amazing, and it saves me so much time. So I consider this instead of having to hire a ghost writer or a freelancer, I consider this my thirty dollars a month. Uh, is towards that instead of instead of paying that I, I just pay to use the software and i do it myself and it's so much easier you have a lot more control over direction of your content so that's just a quick analysis of uh <clears throat> rider versus conversion ai real quick the key points it has a better in my opinion a better ai all right gpt3 plus proprietary components um it has a much cheaper price point okay at $30 you have unlimited versus $110 for unlimited you have a much fr friendlier free trial at 5,000 characters per month regenerated no credit card needed versus content AI you need uh, enter in your credit card details email your name your address I mean it, it, maybe your address but your, your first and last name email address it's just way too much information, way too much personal information. And, and then the other thing is it's, um, you know, customer service is quite good and it has a plagiarism checker. So that's, that's how Rider com compares to conversion AI. Okay, when Rider compares to Write Sonic, um, again, the GPT-3 plus the proprietary, whatever the secret sauce is, it's working. <laughs> it's working. I wish I could be more technical, but I, I'm not very, uh, you know, knowledgeable when it comes to code. But I, I look at the product, and you can do your own research too. I implore you to, you know, double check and find your own truth on this channel to check and, and see the, the quality output. I got to say, Rider is, is better. Um, 
it's not like world apart, but it, it's noticeably better. Okay, and, and you know, I'd say maybe one point better, uh, one one two two points better than Right Sonic. Uh, the other thing is, no, the benefit of Right Sonic is it has four more languages that it supports. So it has twenty four languages versus Riders twenty. But uh, for me, this is not, uh, this is not really a an attractive an attractive enough um, benefit. Okay. Uh, let's see what else <clears throat> ah yes this is what i hate sorry you have a credit based system for starters and then if you want to go upgrade to unlimited and in pro it's going to cost a lot more mm-hmm. with rider you just have very basic systems you have free and you got you got premium right so and premium is straight up unlimited you got once you pay the 30 bucks a month you go straight to unlimited none of this you know credit system uh, sorry none of this tier game right where you go uh, starter, professional, and, and business. Uh, <clears throat> all right, so let's look at the price. So you have thirty dollars a month. You get unlimited, unlimited uh, characters, unlimited publishing. You know, and there's no artificial caps. It's truly unlimited. You can publish if you stay awake twenty four hours a day and publish everything. You know, every minute you can theoretically do that. Some people have artificial caps. Uh, where they 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 limit your credit or limit an amount of publish you can do publishing you can do this one has truly is unlimited you can publish as many um, words as you like but for this you got to pay forty bucks to two hundred bucks so let's just say forty bucks realistically for unlimited so that's 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 ten dollars more for a slightly inferior output you know so then again it's not really in my opinion it's not really you know, worth worth the jump. Okay, you get a better value for your money with Rider. Okay, and and that's that's simple. That's simple as that. So when I compare all the other AI writers to um, to Rider, like this this output is amazing, and the price point, which I hope I hope they don't change because thirty bucks a month is is the sweet spot. If if they go higher, then it becomes you know it doesn't really become competitive nor worth it. But at this price point, Rider is uh, by far the better option um, out there among AI riders. And there are a lot of AI riders uh, besides the one I cover. But if I ever find so- anything better, then I would definitely post it up here. But when it comes down to quality and value for what you pay for, because you know I, I don't really care about the other bonuses. And I just care about does it write well, does it write readably um, and is it affordable? Because I don't think a hundred dollars a month for some AI writer is, is I just think it's just uh, not not reasonable. Okay, but writer is thirty thirty dollars a month is very very reasonable. Okay, and uh, I just wanted to do a quick comparison because I know that there's a lot of confusion. Um, you know, when I was looking for AI writers, I, I went through the same thing, testing out different um, AI writers, trying free, trying paid, trying all sorts of different ones, and I'm still testing it out because. You know, if you find something, be- if I find something better, I definitely would like to share it. Definitely like to um, use it, and and uh, if it helps me out, why not? Right? I, I don't mind sharing it with people. But this is the one I find so far as of this date. Uh, the writer is, is probably the the better performing ones with at this price point. The other ones, it's just you know, not it's tone deaf. Forty dollars a month for for something that's that's. You know, decent, but not not the best on the market. It's just not worth it. Thirty dollars a month for for this AI writer is definitely definitely worth it, in my opinion. All right, but if you find any AI writers that you want to mention or you think is better or you think is worse or maybe I should try out, uh, please leave it in the comment section below. But I just want to add a caveat: like if it's has a you know, it has to be secure. <laughs> uh, some of the suggestions I looked at, you know, they looked they they weren't really secure. Um, I had a lot of red flags go up on my Google browser and I'm not going to check it out if that ever comes out. So please, if it's safe, secure, and they don't ask for too much information, I'm I'm more than willing to try it out and and give it a try and do a review, maybe do a comparison. But other than that, um, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.